recording. So let's start parsing a type. Okay, so what type should we parse first? Just the... Uh, yeah, so go to types.hs mm -hmm. again. Like, have two windows. One with the... Yes, that's type.hs. Parse the expression, and another one mm -hmm. with type.hs, but not this one that we have on the left. We want the one with that is not inside parser. We want the one. Uh, we want the ST. Ty yes, type six. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's cool. yeah. We have to decide some things regarding casing. Uh, because, see, uh, suppose we have like an S expression, right? And we are passing the arguments. Uh, and of course, that will be like a syntax sugar for doing like multiple applications, right? But it will be only one with syntax. Uh, so, the thing is regarding when we are quote unquote applying to types, how do we know that the thing is a type? So, we either need a special syntax, like, oh, the argument will be between angle yeah. brackets, mm -hmm. or maybe it needs a different case and then values, right? Oh, wait, I'm confused. Isn't that solved because integer is a, is a special keyword that is only... only um... Like, if you're using integer, integer with capital A, capital I, sorry, that means that it is a type? Oh, yeah, that's one, <laughs> yeah, that's one solution, one. right? Yeah, that's how we solved the last time. Let's see on the examples here. Functions. Awesome. No, but these functions are not... Uh... Oh, well, this is the notation for yeah. for all. Yes. So let's just... I, oh, oh man, I have... but yeah, but now the user will be able to create their his own types. Okay, so Nathan is right. We need a syntax for this. Something else, and I don't even remember about it if I did that when I was doing this kind of stuff. But I'm pretty sure we need parentheses for types, right? We need... I think we were using normal... Yeah, we were using normie parentheses. I, the first I mean, one is the variable, the second is the type. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I mean, in the sense that, let's suppose you have a normal arrow type, like in Ocumbe, right? Mm -hmm. Where you have type, arrow, thing. So it is only fixed and doesn't necessarily have like parentheses. Right? So if you are applying identity and then you apply on that type and then you pass the value of a function, how do you know where the things finishes? So you need parentheses, right, on the type that you are. Yeah, but we are doing parentheses already for that. Can you write how it's That's our it. arrow type? Yes, yes, we do have examples in the spoon, uh, spoon stuff. I'll go there. We have many examples here. Yeah, we but the advanced many. one is the best one. Yeah, the, yes. we are doing like that. Oh, okay, it's already okay. solved. It. Yeah. Let's get to the amazing mode. <laughs> to the wire mode. There. Yeah. Yeah. So the oh. way that you do the arrow is that um, you pass the arguments uh, aside from the return type. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, this is a function that picks an integer, an integer, and returns an integer. Well, this is how we are doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Okay, we so did not, I just noticed we are not ever annotating what is the parameter, what is the return of the body, right? Uh, we don't really need to. Yeah, we are not. And I don't, we don't, we don't need to. I'm not saying that we shouldn't, but we don't need. Yes, we don't, but it might be, well, in some situations it might be, right? Needed, you mean? Well, if you do, for example, a file with any without any annotations, just generics, you might run in a case that you need to annotate. I'm not getting it. Well, hey, can you, you write might an example? Run... Not, not get I don't. I can't think of an example right now, but you might run in an example that you you have to annotate to be able to resolve. I already ran into this. In oh, the okay, okay. It's when oh, not the example is when type inference is not doing correct stuff it's not that it's not doing correct it's just it's not that it's inferring wrong it's just that it cannot resolve it cannot proceed 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not I don't saying... think we yeah, I don't think we even we we were ever gonna problem because the result of a thing that is generic, it's not really generic. After the application of the type, it's just a normal type, like it returns the defined concrete type. What? I didn't understand the point. Uh, okay, so I guess the problem that you are thinking about involves I have a generic function, then the mm -hmm. return is generic, and then it yeah. can be confused where he's receiving that, right? Yes. That won't happen to us, like, at all. No, no, okay, dude, okay, like, that's not the point. The point is, why are we not making the effort to just annotate fully the function? Well, we can. Like, we can... Yes, that's the thing. Like, I think it's something we should do. Like, it can be optional. That's that's okay. But then, why not? Why just dismiss it completely? Well, okay, and Usually, yeah. it's undesirable. But, especially, I guess. For instance, uh, the... Yeah, your microphone is chopping. Yeah, microphone is chopping. Oh, uh, is it okay now? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I would guess that usually is undesirable. I'm not really sure, but we can do it for sure. Would more be like, a, oh, let's guarantee that this is the type, right? Yeah. But yeah, it's probably more useful more like, when we yeah, are doing type thinking, inference. Like usually, you just do the annotation of the full function that you're about to do, just to to make sure things are working. Like that's. A... Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, but how would that be? Yeah, we're gonna like, have to do the synthesis. Can do this, I guess. Oh, the synthesis, right? I can. <laughs> can do another one here. No, I was thinking. I was be. thinking on doing something like in the same brackets that the lambda has, like lambda brackets. We can have the parameters and then column, space, the 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 oh, return okay. type. Okay. So like. Like a sharpie like. Yeah. This. Yeah. That looks ugly, but <laughs> that's, that's not practical. Yeah, I'm okay with that actually. At like least it's... Other way, and it makes sense. Like any other way, I think it would be worse. No, but let's do the following uh, line. I can't see the numbers right now, but the line yeah, with the er, variadic part down there, you see there, mm -hmm. numbers integer. Yes. Okay, so remove that until the bracket, the blue bracket, and do column uh, integer. I don't know, column space integer. Okay, so this is a more real use case for it. Is this bad? Yeah. No, I don't think I so. I think it's fine, Nata. Uh, I think it's okay. Uh, I was just about to say that at least oh. the rest of the language-wise, it's pretty simple also. Well, we are already like having the body type. You will literally like, just check it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah but I think this will change the ST, right? We could also do this. Yeah, we would change the ST. Oh, but yeah, but I'm just saying it's that simple to, to do. Oops. Did you get it? Yeah, I get it. I don't. I kind of prefer the column way. Maybe adding a column outside of the brackets. Because eh. we got to think it's S expressions, like adding a column out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that sense, in the sense of S expressions is really bad. Like, I still think this would be prettier, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess. Uh, well, let's just do this then. Yeah, I think this, hey. is, this is better than the outside of the brackets. Uh, let me just see here integer, boolean, then we have a function. Yeah, but these are this example is incomplete, not right? Because now we have type yeah. variables and for all, so we're also gonna uh, have to make parsers for those, and create yeah. a syntax for both. Let me see. And this is the last parameter, right? Um. Yeah, but now we don't have. Um, yeah, I just wanna remove it. Wait. Wait. Yeah, wait. 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 Yeah, okay, okay, this is the, yeah. And then we just do plus, uh, 
X with one. <laughs> That's the no, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is... Oh, it's an application. Yeah, no, oh, this, this wait, is already wait, done. Wait. You, you can remove this. This is the body. Oh, yeah. I was confused. Yeah, this the, the if is the integer, right? Yes. The Y is the boolean? Wait. Yeah, no, the this if is the boolean. And this is the lambda. Yeah, but this should be Z, man. So we are missing Y, I guess. No, why is this? No, but this is a number. This if is a this entire if is. It this ends. is wrong, by the way. Wait, because these are the types of notation type notations. Then we have the the body. I don't what know. is the I, last bracket on the if? Wait, it's all wrong because I removed. So this is the lambda. Now it's the thing. Remove no, this. No, no, but no, but the body that we wanted is the if with the z and a y, man. And we don't have line numbers, so it's complicated mm -hmm. to tell. But... Nothing is great. Okay, so Nothing let me great. try to explain. Let me try to explain. So the when I did this example, x is the if with the f f f f, and then it ends what? with a number. Yeah. Just... Okay, this was the body, right? Yes, exactly. It. This is the body. Yeah, who cares, man? Whatever. Just do. Uh, I don't know. Just do. One. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, and then the we need a boolean now because of the y. Yes. Right? And now, okay, so put I don't know oh, capital okay, but T. but this is not a boolean. Yeah, this was a number. Yeah. This is a this entire okay, condition okay, okay. Is a, was a number. So true. So the. So uh, this is gonna be true, and this is gonna be false. Yeah, okay. And then the lambda with A and B, this is Z. Yes, that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's it's uh well it is an example that we can we can use in for testing. Okay, we just need to parse the shit, who cares? Yeah, so okay. I we we have we ha need to make parses for unit, uh, T unit, T integer. Can you go up there? No, go back to the ST. Yeah, go up. Up, up. up, up. Yeah, there. Okay, so we need T unit, T integer, T rational, T bool, T arrow. Mm. Okay, so last time around we did the integer, the bool, and the arrow. Right? Now we're going to have to make all these other ones. Okay, so how should we do wait, it? Wait, Because I'm hey, not folks. Great. Let's modify the EST first, like before the, the parsing, because oh, okay. uh, it's quick. You've got to add the, the return here, right? Yeah, the E abstraction now has to have another, a second type uh, after expression. Yeah. Uh, dude, I mean, I am really bad at typing on this keyboard. Uh, so, should it be optional or not? Yeah, optional. Sure. Yeah, it should be yeah, optional. So How... Let's do. Okay, maybe. Uh, okay, maybe. So, yeah, maybe type. Is it like this? Yeah. I guess you need parentheses. Yeah, it's really yeah, bad. I read. guess you need parentheses. And the other thing is something that if you guys want is also to implement, I guess. Regarding, do you want multiple multiple bodies in a abstraction? Yeah, last time around we had this discussion. Yeah, the program. Did you? Yeah, yeah, of having or not having the programming implicitly in done. And we just returned the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just, we just evaluated the last one. <laughs> yeah, did. forget the rest. Who needs the rest? Uh, okay, do you remember now, Nathan, that we discussed that? Nathan? Really? Oh, hello? Yeah, now I can hear you, yeah. Yeah, I really don't. Oh, you don't remember. Okay, so you you proposed back in the day a question, which is, should we have an implicit program or not? Right? And then mm -hmm. we decided that we should have, an impl have it implicitly, but we during the implementation, we totally said, forget about it. Right? I said, no. It's <laughs> getting too, too okay. shitty. That's just so, it. my point today, and it's not really a point, it's just Again, asking if you guys want, and if so, I think it's really easy to implement. 
No, but you also said that the last time. And I... <laughs> no, no, we didn't have it's... problems like evaluating. That was easy. The problem was like parsing, that we got lazy. Yeah. Because then the expression should, would be a list of expressions, right? We would have to change the ST again. Yeah, but that's what I mean, right? So regarding type checking in evaluation, like evaluation, it's pretty fucking easy, right? You just evaluate everything and you return only the last one. Yeah. The type checking is also easy. You just require that everything in the list except the last one, it's like unit, right? Uh, and yeah, it's fucking easy. Regarding parsing, I also think it's not hard. Yeah, because of the, the brackets, we can make it's it... It's literally, easy. instead of one, it'll be a list. Yeah, many. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I guess here it doesn't. It's okay. Uh, yeah, let, let's just do with, with it, and then we can change later. That's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. So how do I start parsing with this crazy library? I don't even recall how you were doing that. Yeah. Go to go to that file. Okay. It's uh, I gotta remind. It's like the same thing as. Yeah. So, so you need okay. to import so... all of those. So import. Oh no. Yeah. Import. Yeah. Just copy paste. It's easier. Gotta get used to this keyboard. Okay. Uh, types. Okay, put the imports. Uh, I don't know. What is it complaining at the moment? I have Parts no idea. Types. Why is it com? Oh, because... cyclic module dependency. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to do something that Nathan will love it, man. You see this file right now? That we are yeah. this, we're gonna have to change it to Uchus, I guess. Wait, we're gonna have to change to Uchus. <laughs> I didn't wait. What are we importing? Okay, so those. let me explain. Let me explain. I so, didn't understand the word Uchus. U -T, Uchus. Yeah, U T I L S. Uchus. Oh, Uchus. All yeah. right, I get it. Yeah, we're gonna have to change parser.utils. Uh, because this one? This name yeah, here? this name, yeah, this name, and the answer, and the reason why no parser dot parser parser dot utils. Okay. Why and why do we need to do that? Because before I was using this just to have the the type parser t alias, right? Okay, so now something that you can do, Magetta, is to remove these imports that we just added. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then this file is done. Okay, so just save that. Okay, so go to the file on the left, and you see 8 up mm. import types dot parser dot types. You're gonna change that to parser dot utilities. I love it. There is an entire page on Edward Jordan ranting over people using this. Yeah. <laughs> I think it just needs to compile, right? Uh, yeah. Also, yes, but now. Do you see that the name of the file that of parser.utilities is different? It is two types. You need to change the name. Uh, wait, where? You see that on the right, we have parser.utilities, yeah. but this is the name of the module. And it yeah. needs to be the same name as the file. Oh, the same name of the file. Okay. Yeah. And it is right now types.hs. So change that. Okay. That's a bit dumb, isn't it? It always needs to be the same name as the file. Then you could use only the file name, right? Uh, yes, but there's also the fact that I discovered recently that apparently modules in Haskell is a little bit more robust than I initially expected. Mm -hmm. uh, like how? No, I don't know. I just figured out that I, I was reading something at work sure. and then apparently t modules is not that as dumb as we were tr thinking before. Anyway, so uh, Magetta. No, this is right, I guess. No, 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 wait. We don't ha we don't want any of these extra imports in this file, utilities.hs, at the moment. Okay. This will only contain the parser T. Now you're going to create another file inside the parser mm. folder called types.hs. Okay. And now we're going to do module parser.types where... And now you can copy paste the imports from the other from the file on the left to this one. 
Oh, so this is like a Python init, right? Wait. Literally the same thing. No, it's because we are se we are, we are separating our parser instead of parsing everything in a single file as we were doing before. Now we're gonna parse the types here. Yeah, I get it. I'm just doing to to degrade the oh. image of our school. Oh, okay. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a us problem. <laughs> us problem. Anyway, okay, so, so now what? now you have everything that we need to start start parsing stuff. So if you go to on the to the file on the left, mm. uh, and then you go down a little bit, I already did the type signature in the beginning of it or something like that. So type type p okay. so type parser or something like that. So grab that and put in our new file. Not this one. Not this one. Wait. This oh, this is YouTube. Yeah. So, control X arrow, I don't know. This. Yeah. Okay, so now it comes the point that we need to define, we need to, we need to have the AST uh, in, in one of our windows because we're gonna have to, well. Yeah. Okay, so the AST of types. So go up a little bit. This. Yeah, so the first one is T unit. I think this is the yeah, first, the yeah. same thing f as I did for literals, right? So, so if let's you go. Do it here. Yeah. Um, unit. Yeah, so it's parser TST type. Dude, I'm very slow on typing here, and my hands are sweating because I'm... it's like 90 degrees, and I. Well, not 90, 19. Oh, it's chilling there. Here it's like no, 30 it's or something. Chilling, man. What the heck? I'm melting. Just 19, you're about. melting. Oh. Yeah. Man. Okay. Yeah, here is like, I don't know, in my room, probably 30. Okay, okay so, so... Uh, we can cheat because mm -hmm. the type in the literal is the same. So if you go to the literals folder inside the literals file inside the parser folder, you the, 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 the parsing for this is already done. Literal. Okay, yes. Okay. Literal. This rooming, right? Yes. So Where we should it? have any unit there. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just copy that, and go back to our our thing. I guess that's a problem. Then. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, no. Right? It should be literally unit, right? Yeah, that would solve the problem. Yeah, that would solve the problem. You need to change the constructor. Instead of L unit, it needs to be mm -hmm. T unit. Yeah. What the fuck is L? Literal. Uh, literal. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is uh, the Can next just one. Get rid of the dock here because it's just taking space. Ah, oh, macOS, kill me. One second. Uh, what was the thing to hide this shit, man? No, you're asking. You're. <laughs> Those to hide can, can't you today. double double click on the header up there? I can't do this, but I want to get rid of it. No, but hide it. Yeah, you, you can go full screen, man. Just double click on the oh, top. Yeah. I'm stupid. All right. Okay. So, so the typer unit is done. Uh, type okay, unit in let's parsing. do now integer. So yeah. Copy. So to do an integer, we need a typer, we need a parser for digits, I guess. Not digits, by the way, we need for numbers. Because, well, digit is just digit, right? Wait, what? Why the? T integer, yeah. No, okay. dude, what we're do just you mean by word. Oh, I'm yeah. making the same mistake again, sorry. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bool now. Let me just paste this several times. So this one is boolean. Yeah, these ones are stupid. They're just like, oh man, let's be smart here. Oh, we can't send. Yeah, never mind. Let's just copy and paste. <laughs> copy and pasting code. It's amazing. Oh, it's no, just boolean. No, we changed the name. It's just boo, yeah. Uh, rational. Rational is the wimpy one. Rational. Yeah. 
Okay, now it comes the hard ones, the ones that take, took a little bit of time for last time. <laughs> okay, the arrow. Yeah, Let's do the, the arrow. arrow, and then the new ones, the type variable and t for all. Okay, so it would be great to have a look on how we did an LFA. Yes. Can somebody fetch the code, or do I need to go there? Uh, let me grab that. Okay. Yeah, go to the LFA one, nice. and then we need to... I need to remember how I did it. <laughs> because I just don't remember at all how I did it before. Type periodic. Oh, this was hellish. Oh, man. Type atom. Type arrow. Yeah, type arrow is down there, I guess. Type atom. What are we going to do about the type variables? Will it just be like any text that is not those already existent? Or maybe the the single quote before. Yeah, copy all of this, Magetta. Uh, can you repeat the last part, Nathan? Yeah, how are you going to write type variables? How are we going to uh, we need to this we need to change the grammar and discuss the syntax first at some point. Uh, and I don't know I don't know when we're going to be doing that. Let's finish the arrow first, and then we can discuss that. Let me just do the do notation because I'm Greg. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Okay, uh, we so... first get the rights. Let me eliminate the, that crap because it's just polluting. This. Yeah, we just need the just right onwards. We don't need anything else. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the first thing is having the parentheses and then a bunch of white spaces. Actually, let me do this. I feel like Bellani just flexing Max. <laughs> Flexing Max, changing Windows yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like org agenda flexing. Yeah, anyway. that is flexing. Anyway, so now we need to do a. Uh, okay, so we are doing do notation, right? So it's it's easier at this point. So we're gonna do the following, yeah. man. So we're we gonna do very do... Greg way, okay, Nathan. So don't don't go crazy. Because we're gonna do very very good at this Let's point. Do first, so let me see the expressions we have. We have. Okay, we are gonna parse everything with this, right? So this can be a between, I guess. Well, okay, that's not, that's not as good as I was initially thinking about. It's gonna be a between, and then we just check the. Intermediary thing, so the first thing needs to be an arrow, literally an arrow. No, but we also then... need to discard a bunch of white spaces along the way. So I was thinking on doing. Oh the yeah, it's okay, but I'm just thinking of the the expressions first, the chopped ones. Oh okay. Oh yeah, this is not that bad actually. No, yeah, we so need we need to be... do the args later, and the args is another conversation. Oh, this is gonna be breaking. <laughs> Emacs. Can you can you still see? Yeah, I can. I totally can see. Okay. Okay, so let's first do the, the stuff. So let uh, what we're gonna do first. Okay, okay, but we don't we can actually don't need the let at this point. So we're gonna do underscore. Right, remove the let. Yeah, this. underscore and then arrow to the left. Oh no, man! I know what you're gonna do. Yeah, this is like very it. grug. Like I said, Nathan will be pissed. Yeah. Uh, char, uh, char, okay. open parentheses and then applicative. <laughs> Applicative this is, is the greatest way of doing it, actually, I guess. <laughs> yeah, applicative is uh, uh, greater than now. Yeah. And then you're going to do uh, white spaces. Dude. Yeah, Dude. Emacs is going crazy. <laughs> it's just because uh, it's like big and then white space. Yeah, white. I don't know the name. Oh, it's white space. Oh, white with, space. Yeah. But we need m many of them. So you're going to have to do Wait. parentheses and then many. Wait. No man, there is a white spaces, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, okay, so let me go to the hackers documentation. Hey. Oh, okay. You oh, I see here, between it? open and close... Uh... No, we don't want between, because we don't want anything in between them. We want both and discard both. Yes, you so... want to discard both. Yeah, but the between give discard you... Discard this and discards this. No, but it returns the value returned by... The third one, which is this. Yeah, the third one. What you? What is the third one again? 
Well, the third one is the arrow and the rest. Oh, okay. It's the content. Oh, okay. Okay, we can do that like that. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, why are you asking sorry, man? <laughs> no, because although the <laughs> your approach is going to be one like a really big line, uh, my approach was dumber. So that's why I'm saying sorry. Man, your Emax is broken just as mine. Look. It's because of the theme. Like, I can blind you guys and change to the white theme. I can do that, actually. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Making people blind. I didn't fix this theme here. Which sucks. But I can use this. Oh, the between will not work. You know why? Why? I did with between on the other thing, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's still broken, though. Uh, it is because bits of it are still with the old one. Ah, screw it. I don't want to restart you, Max. Okay. Anyway, so... Restart you, Max? Yeah, who cares? Okay, anyway, the thing is, the thing that matters that I'm trying to say is the following. Why that's not going to work? Because... Uh, because we still... Uh, wait... You just do parser for the arrow and a parser for another thing. Like, uh, let me. Uh, wait, no, we, we can we can reuse we can reuse your idea. Okay, so but instead of spaces, let's spaces, we let's make a the arrow. That is just a parser for the arrow, which is just yeah, well, yeah, that's a good uh, idea. But let me just fix a little thing. Do you see that we are having between open parentheses spaces and then the closing? It's it it is spaces spaces. Do you see that? Oh, that's wrong. We should put char uh, closing yeah, stuff. Yeah, now it's better, like way better. Yes, I know. That was a slip. Arrow. Yeah, okay, so string, arrow, and, and then... then after this is just spaces. Yeah, spaces. Inside. Yeah. And then here, why is it not... You see the LSP is like kind of stupid. Yeah, LSP is not complaining yeah, about I'll just errors. Max, but I think the theme went down. Like, oh man, anyway, who cares? Max is... So, okay, the arrow and then the other thing, which is the... Uh, the just left in, in here. Yeah, so that is, is the argument, uh, many arguments. And the type. You see that we have two things. There. Actually, it's just one, always, right? It's. No, no, no. An arrow has many. Never mind me. I'm just being stupid. Yeah. So we have many arguments, like tuples of arguments with the types. Yes, yes. And then they are, uh, they are separated by white spaces. So. Okay, how so, should that be? Okay, so you're uh, gonna do uh, tuples. That's yeah, tuples. Name, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Or, or you prefer? No, no, no. It's fine. No, no, no. That's even worse. Tuples is fine. So, that's amazing. <laughs> so here, I'll rename that. But okay, so we should parse. Just left. Okay, this is recursive, right? So we should call a type which we didn't do. No, but we will. P. The type, the type P yeah, is gonna. I, I can tell you what yeah, the type P will be. be. An alternative of the other. Yeah, shape, exactly, yeah. exactly, precisely that. So, this one here. It will be parentheses. Args. It uh, will be many. Okay, we can do many of this. Yeah, let's just do atomic. So there will be between again. No, wait. I don't know what you are doing, man. The args is a completely separate parser. We don't have it right now. It is in the LFA oh, code. Art. Dude, like... Let, let me go to the example. Uh, functions. Oh, okay, it's just a list. I forgot that the arrow, we don't take the thing. It's just this, and then the final thing is this. Yeah. So, okay. That's easy. So, let's do args. Yeah, so but I don't remember what the args is. So can you go to the LF, uh, Can you grab the LFA code? I mean, you can order the LFA. <laughs> uh, oh no, that's not a good sign. Ignoring the LFA awesome code sign. because it works. And you it know is it a works. sign of enlightenment. What you're talking about? Well, at least we think it works. No, we tested and it works. Well, it's <laughs> no, we tested is not enough. 
<laughs> okay, that's fair, that but it still works. Also okay, so the last one is just the elements inside of it, which are many. So many one at least. Uh, then we are gonna invoke again the type P. Uh, so it gets more types, and then. Okay, I highly but recommend this, picking the LFA code now. I'm reading. But it. this can have, but this can have spaces as well in the middle, so it's actually. Oh, but the order of the spaces in. matter. If it comes first or after the type, let me double check. It comes before the type. Oh, we can have this as well. It doesn't matter. We yes. Just do this. Yeah, no, 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 but it matters. Remove the, the other spaces before the type. This makes... I remember talking to Nathan that these spaces were Isn't making this thing... Uh, Isn't this optional? Oh, yeah. you're consuming the spaces out of a thing. If it's this optional, I don't think it matters. No, but let's just remove it, just for the sake of using something that we know it works. Okay, spaces, then the type, blah, 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 and then it got to be between... Okay, there's this space as well. And yeah. then it should end here. So that's it. Wait. And then the last one. Wait. Return. Just a sec. Oop. Return P. And then the final thing is the final catastrophe, which is just spaces. Ooh, I need. Okay, okay. We you can we can go on, but I need a very very uh, unelegant solution to the ambiguity problem in the LFA one. I remember. So this now. would be. Between char, so it is an arrow. This, yes. and then after this, we pick. I'm thinking because this is a binary operator, so we would need to wrap into parentheses. Uh, like this. Ah, uh, man, dude. What? I feel like uh, she's stupid <laughs> typing here. <laughs> Uh, and then we have this, and then we can do this. Return P. No, 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 but that can't be... the, the Before the return P, it needs to be a full applicative. Like, it, not only to the le to the mm. right, it needs to be left and right. Why? Because we're not going to ignore the, the args, right? The args, we need them. Oh, yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. Yeah, but now we need to... Okay, so before, yeah, before that, you're going to do uh, the F map. So yes, and before that, you're gonna do the constructor that we have the of the AST, which is uh, no, not tuple, oh, okay. not the tuple. Name of the thing. I don't know what it is. T arrow. T arrow. Yeah, I don't need parentheses be between the T uh, enclosing T arrow. Yeah, if this mm -hmm. uh, okay, so this is still wrong though. So let's fix it. So you're gonna remove the do from the type arrow after the equal. Oh yes, that's true. And before the last between, you're gonna put in the last between you're yeah the last between in. the last one the last line so before this. the last yeah okay i get it uh-huh let's see if this type checks because your lsp is yeah, broken I... so we don't know <laughs> let me close the max let me start it again be careful to not show work stuff no like i don't have stuff here Okay. Oh, I, I forgot to swap the theme. Oh, man. No, but Wait. it's fine. Is there... No, but man, it's not. I want the numbers. <laughs> I want the numbers. <laughs> yeah, man, it's more, more convenient. Okay, but uh, uh, in this, this manner that works. we did, people, uh, using the way that Magetta did, oh, uh, it has ambiguity in the grammar. So at some point, it will break. I don't know. Uh, you mean on the spaces? Mm, uh... How can I explain this? Uh, somewhere else, it's going to be in two breaks. It will. Yeah, but it will type check, by the way. But, well, as I say, as I always say, that doesn't mean it's correct. Okay. Uh, what I mean is it can have ambiguity and it's okay because the alternative case, you just like pick one. Case the first, right? So, yeah, it's not a problem. Well, in the LFA implementation, it's I just solved not it, good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I solved it, but it uh, it's not pretty. But what do you mean you solved it like? Yeah, I made um, 
Uh, how can I explain this short? This, this is very wrong. What is happening here? <laughs> this, is this, man. this is even worse. Yeah, I mean, I, I can do with it, but. Pasta Mac. <laughs> yeah, like it's not my thing, dude. Look at this. Yeah, so in the meantime, while you fix that, I'm gonna explain to Nathan. No, so I'm Nathan. not gonna fix it. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not gonna fix it. Yeah, screw it. Oh my god, I mean, we can't read the names! <laughs> it, oh, you can't. <laughs> anyway, now, yeah, the, the way that I it. solved it, I changed the grammar, and I changed the... Uh, like, instead of using just left and just right, I did uh, a parser that asks for the spaces, you know? It's hard to explain in this manner, but try, tr just try. Ask us for the spaces is really hard. Yeah, yeah. So instead of ignoring the spaces, like using just left or just right, I asked for the spaces in one of the parsers, right? And then discarded later via fmap. That doesn't sound like a thing you would need to do, man. No, you're correct. You're correct. How do you but build I did... stuff on, on stack? Uh... Wait. Rapple? It's saying that your root channels does root not stack exist. Is blah, blah, blah. That seems what? bad. Do you have stack? Do stack stack oh, dash dash version. Be, you gotta be joking me. <laughs> this is a joke, isn't it? <laughs> okay. oh, no. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Oh no, this is on. What? <laughs> XPKGS was not found in the Nix. Well, of course it wasn't. I don't have it. I ju I'm just using uh, Flakes. Well, you do you have... Could you build the Nix shell that I that is in the repo? Dude, I already have the things installed. Like... Oh, now the file uh, is broken. Shell, nix. No, it is not. PKGs, import nix PKGs. So I... What the hell is that? Because I don't have that as a channel, so I was suspecting. Nix attempted to evaluate a function as a top-level expression. So yeah, it is right. Dude. Anyway, can you try to do stack dash dash version? Just as to see. Dude, just let me test here. Uh, G, C, whatever. Nothing's evaluating, what the heck? Oh, mix because it is not. Still Dude, with flakes. Does it work with flakes? Like, please tell me it does. Nick. Nix. I think shell. it does. I think it does with Flix. Well, I hope. Yes, it does. So the problem is this shit. Anyway. No, but he had an error there. <laughs> no, <laughs> because I killed the thing. Oh, okay. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, the theme is broken. But anyway, who cares? But I do care. Yeah, I don't. Uh, anyway, is this. Is LSP fine with this? Let's see. I hope. Yeah, it loaded at least. Let's see. Between. Yes, it is. Oh, it is. Wow. Okay, first try. No, oh, man. This is the same shit as... This is intuitive. So, next. Okay, now we need to define the syntax for the two new ones. Which are? For all? Type, type variable and for all. We already have an example. There. Yeah, we do have an example for for all, but I want to confirm that Nathan is okay with it. What do you mean any syntax, man? Okay, so this is for all A, and then you put the like B that has a type A. Is that okay, Nathan? Nathan? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I said sure. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's. Uh, try so to do that, that will be just a between f and then dot, and then we get the next thing, and then a bunch, and then we just. 
Okay, and then this can be a type. This just is a type. one expression, right? Wait, this is what? Sorry? Just one type expression, that's what I mean. No, yeah, I mean... one type expression, yes. Not really, right? Because... Wait. Mm. Not really, because this is argument and then type. But what if we have an arrow here? What happens? Like, let's do another example. No, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Like, lambda... F dot A. And then we do... Let's do T, man. T. And then we do something like arrow. Arrow. Um, uh, parenthesis, T, space T. integer. Oh, actually, we'll follow the same rule because we're going to have to annotate the argument that is receiving that arg and then the thing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but now I have a question. Um, when you're doing uh, for all, we need to allow to not only be types, right? It can be any sort of text also. Do you uh, yes. agree? Hello, Magetta? Yes, I'm thinking. Uh, Nathan, if you said something, we didn't hear. Uh, wait, problem? No, I'm not saying it, it's a problem. I just want I to confirm. Really. Yeah. That Can you repeat? Yes. So inside of for all, we do allow it to be types. So like integer and booleans. Instead, like, do you see that arrow right there? We are saying, okay, it is a the argument is a function that picks a t and returns a t. But it, so let's suppose it is a t and returns an integer, okay? Mm -hmm. So it can be both types from the language, like the types that we are creating as integers, rationals, units. But it okay. can also be any text because the user define can define types in this manner, mm -hmm. right? Wait, I'm ultra confused. Oh, uh, God. Okay, go back, Magetta. Yeah, so do you see... First of all, explain me the syntax. Yeah, okay. so for all so t... Let's... This, for example. Like, for all... Let's type. For all t, in this thing... So this is just naming the argument. Uh, can you this type. where like, it closes, the first parenthesis? This wow. closes there. This closes the for all. This closes the argument assignment. And this closes the type itself. Which the argument assignment? Is what is arg? What arg what? is the name of the argument, man? It's the type, dude. It's like the phone. Mm. Let me do a lisp. Source the phone A B C A B A B. But the difference is that we have types. So. No, but we don't. But as far as I can tell, I'm looking at the AST here. I think Nathan is right. We don't actually name the thing. We just provide the type, Magetta. Can you like mm -hmm. write the equivalent of this, but in Haskell mm -hmm. or Okama, like only the type signature? Can you go? Can you go to the AST first, Magetta? I think it's gonna be easier the, to explain to you. Second, let me reproduce the same garbage. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so, oh. Oh man, dude, what the heck? I can't type today. So it would be something like this. In oh, the yeah, then we have a huge problem. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think that the uh, AST is not counting this. If you want this. If we ever Wait, want what this. the fuck? Wait. Ah. Yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. Why? Um, well, to start, mean... what? Oh, okay, okay, that's better. Should be this. You are closing the parent there, so you see one R that is for all T. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, the only thing is, yeah, yeah, but the last arc doesn't make sense because, well, you receive arc, so. Like, what? Why does it make sense, man? Well, arc is 
not a type. It is Arc not. is a value. Yes. So how are you returning? Okay, this here. Oh, sorry, matter. sorry, sorry. That's not the signature. That's the, the function. Yeah. yeah so, so that's the body. Yeah. Oh, right. So it should be this. Oh, <laughs> now it method. is correct. Arts. Okay. Okay. Now I'm okay with this. Now I'm understanding. So, yeah, because I, I understood the Okama one. Let me see the list. So you have the brackets there. No, so th those are the arguments. It looks like I was just doing any bullshit. <laughs> no, no, the list I mean ours, right? Ours. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let me see. The brackets, it's for parameters. Then the first one is for something that will be composed of a name and the type, right? On the right. Yeah. And then we have the for all, for all t dot. We have that. No, wait, wait. Our synth is not going to be like that. So can you try re go back, Maget, and put the capital F dot? Okay. Yeah, we can name it. I think it's actually better like this. Yeah, because before we decided to do for like F dot, and then the type doesn't have the dot. Yeah, that's why it was confusing. I think this is better because you basically have the what is the type representing the type itself then we have a separator then another thing no wait if you're gonna do like that i prefer the entire word for all yes i prefer the entire word yeah so instead of that we, yeah like that oh yes okay uh, okay i got it now what was the thing that you were saying Lemos, I was regarding saying, some... yeah i was saying that because we don't have control of how exactly the user will name the 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 t yeah. right we... this expression here should assume any name any text yeah not okay. uh yeah uh, yeah it should uh, accept any text that's what i uh, uh, but it should be an alternative with the types that we have is like integers and stuff Oh, I was asking that, man. Like, I was asking, oh, do you want the single quote before the thing so you can guarantee a bunch of stuff? Or do you want any random name? But then you have a, a bit of a weird situation with the other primitive types. What is the weird situation? The weird situation uh, is that you either disallow the thing to be written there so this t cannot be integer and uh, a bunch of shit, right? Oh yeah, that's how I'm I because mm -hmm. yeah, that's like a bit weird on the code for the parsing. But you have to do that because if you don't, then you will allow someone to declare a variable integer to be the abstract type. But we will never be able to parse that because we yeah. would always parse that as a primitive, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. We should not allow the person to use keywords such as integer. Yeah, we can exclude that. Yeah, we can exclude it. Yeah. We yeah, already did this know. at some point. I don't remember how we did it, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, we removed the lambda and if, right? As possible. We did this... No, yeah. Well, that's a... No, but we can use the same strategy, I mean. Of course. Anyway, so we can we can go to the code now, uh, Maggit. I will just think about if this causes any problem. I think we have another problem, which is not necessarily related to. Because here's the thing, we don't we didn't make the argument parsing, right? Not only that, the AST is not expecting that. We're handling like the special thing here for the arrow. I mean, this is fine because these are the args for the, the thing, right? For the arrow. Yeah. But we should do a parser for args because... Okay, like, let's just ignore this arg for now. Let's just focus on this. Yeah, and the for all. Let me cut this. Okay. Type for all would be... Parser TST type? Signature. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you repeat? I didn't know. He said, I don't care for the signature. Yeah, he doesn't care. And then, oh man. Yeah, but the compiler will. Wait, I, I just heard the name Nathan, man. No, Magita. Magita. 
Oh. No, I said Magetta. Oh, this could be even better. It can be even beautiful. A uh, string. I like using between, and it solves a lot of problems. Yeah, I see. You like. It's convenient. I like convenience. Don't you like lemmas? Uh, we are forgetting the the parentheses, man. Wait, which parentheses? Yeah, that between will not work, I guess. Oh no, you are getting the 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 random text at this point. Okay. Let me already do the in, so I don't forget. Uh, okay, and this thing will be the thing inside, which is just the, a random garbage. So, what is the parser that parses any garbage? Uh, I don't have no idea. The, we like, can do many any more? char, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Let any me, char? Let me, let me see if you have a, a better one. Uh... Oh, but that that will return a list, right? How do we flatten again? I remember uh, we did it. Wait, maybe. why do that's gonna return a list? Well, maybe oh. they return the list, right? Oh, but lists in Hangul is the same shit as string. Okay. Yeah, not not at the it's end. At the end, we're gonna have to convert to a text, but that's fine. Okay, can we convert this to a text? Sure. Let me see. Uh, let me go back to Discord. Yeah, I mean, uh, this case doesn't doesn't matter, right? So let's see. Uh, what is the next thing? The next thing is let's go back to here. So now it's this part. So after that, we can have spaces. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. forgot about this, which is important. Spaces. Uh. Oh man, one thing. What? Uh, this should be okay. So, so this should be between this, so you, you can just use this. Never, never mind me. Okay, so for all. Wait, what is the yeah. question again? No, no, never mind. Like it was just like this needs to be inside parentheses, and I was I was checking, but this is another between outside. So yeah, that is another between outside. outside. So that's fine. So now we just do a between again, and then it's just an arrow with this thing. So I think the arrow is already counting thing. for the spaces, though. So for the not for the spaces, for the uh, parameters. Yeah, but it's not just an arrow, right? Because on arrow here we have this type P. No, but that's fine. What we need to do now is do the following. It's just like uh, after having the for all and the any char, the many ones any char. Mm -hmm. We need a bunch of spaces and then a type P, and then you're done. Right? Oh, but no, but wait, wait. Uh, then you are not parsing for the abstracted type inside the the arrow. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it should be an alternative. No, it's an alternative with type, type P and any char again. Yes. Oh, but it needs to be the same char as before, right? Yes. Oh well. How the heck are we gonna do that, Nathan? No, I don't think we uh, should. Uh, it's wait, a part can you repeat? Think yeah. of it. Unbound named definitions. Okay, no, here. yeah, no, I'm not gonna. No, no my get is right. We should not like care about this. This yet parsing yeah, level doesn't matter. Yeah, don't parse Yeah, yeah, parsing sh parses should not care. Yeah, so it's just a bunch of spaces in an alternative between type P and many one in sure. Yeah. So let's just do okay. This is the abstract part, and then we have the. Let's just copy this because I'm not willing to do anything other. They're not copying. Um, <laughs> I'm still my motivation right now. Right? Okay, so uh, this, and then it's a between this wait, garbage. Wait, 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 I'm confused. What are you doing? Wait, it's different. I'm just copying the arrow and modifying it, and this is different. So now we parse the things inside the arrow, which, by the way, we don't need this, right? Uh, we don't. Oh no! Wait, 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 wait. We do. We do. We okay, actually we do. do. Like, this can be like this, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's garbage. <laughs> what do you mean? That's garbage. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you try? So this. Yeah, alternative. Uh, many. 
one. Yeah, the beautiful levels of abstraction. <laughs> I would, uh, man, we cannot type check this. I'm very suspicious about this, but okay. Dude, if it all just works out of the box, which I don't think it will, it would be amazing. If LSP was working, I would be more confident. No, oh, it is working. I would not, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure about that. No, you shut up. It is working. <laughs> shut up. Against the powers. <laughs> That's how you win an argument. Shut up. You <laughs> silence your opponents. Okay, so these are the args, and then we need the return p for the arrow. So it's the same thing as this. It's very bad that you need to copy paste stuff. You should have a better way of doing this. Copy pasting code is the awesome invention of humankind. What you're talking about? Um, I'll People make this better later, though. <laughs> but okay. You make interfaces. Think about this. People just copy paste. They wouldn't. They wouldn't have the interfaces to make my life miserable. So, okay, that's it. Now we just compose the garbage. Yeah. Now we can use between stuff. Let me copy this again. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're understanding. Okay. The That's copy paste the... strategy, man. Yeah, man. If you are smart enough, you just code once and then you copy paste. A lot of times. Yes. So, <laughs> uh, but you know about some guidelines. It's what... better to copy and paste than to do a bad abstraction. Yeah, Zosin philosophy. Yeah. So let me think. <clears throat> so how do we construct that garbage? So between the parentheses, there should be this. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can you go back to the SD? Actually, We're going to have to do another be... constructor in this case. Let's, let's, re let's re kill this. Wait, what? Uh, and confused. then, yes, let's just do an um, amalgamation of all the rest. Wait, wait, which before, is the... before doing that, can we? Can you go back to the, the, back to the final line? And after the T mm -hmm. for all, do space dot. Because you need two constructors, man. Oh, yes, we need the info, right? Yeah, so t for all, sp uh, dot, space, dot, space. Space, dot. Oh, to compose. t for all, info. This? Yes. Okay, so let's think of how we construct this. So that should be first the abstract part. So let's do a parenthesis just for precaution. So a pre abstract, and then after the abstract, which is which engulfs everything up until the 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 type itself. Yeah, we need we need applicative in this case for both sides. So and after this we're not taking into account spaces, so we should do spaces here. Right? Uh yes. And then after this, what do we take? We take we take an abstract. We need the, the both the left and the right, so it's applicative both sides. I'm just thinking because there are three there are three things, right? And those three things they we can't do applicative, right? Otherwise it would be nested, like oh. this. Wait, right? you're talking about nesting? Yeah, like if we do applicative, it would be one two three one two three something like this, right? Well, yes, but we can. We can we we can t tackle the result of it later. Just just make applicative to be sure that okay we okay. need both sides. Okay. So and now parenthesis arrow. Okay, it's the actually arrow uh, applicative to no, the no, right. No, 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 wait, is it the arrow? Yeah, arrow. Arrow, I mean arrow three up, right? Arrow string stuff. That doesn't look right because look here. Like it is, we're not taking the arrow. Like we're taking this, but we're not taking this in the arrow. So oh, okay. we forgot about the another between. <laughs> the boilerplate. Uh, holy crap! <laughs> oh, but wait, man. I think it's easier if we just do. I would definitely that. make a parser, a function that uses this, this man. It is a lot easier just doing this and taking that. 
this. Oh, uh, yes. Composed with composed not uh, just following basis. This. Then it is yes okay now it's fine, and then after this garbage we do now we need to check the parentheses after the return so. After this garbage, we do... Uh, applicative to the left, yeah. Pay, oopsie. Uh, sharp. Spaces. Spaces. Uh, uh, whatever, any uh, direction. Uh, and then sharp. This. Ah. <laughs> the sound effects. Yeah, the sound effects. <laughs> I just can't take it, man. <laughs> All right, now now it is fine. Now okay, now now it's the arrow. Arrow and then applicative then to the right. After the arrow, we pick the Art. argument. Applicative again. Yes. Return. Return arrow. Beautiful, I love it. <laughs> Okay, now we need to discover which function grabs all this crap. Let me think. Yes. <laughs> okay, now I will just commit this, and then it's up to you, Levis. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, accept the challenge. Okay. Oh, just... Oh, man. You should rename this to silverware mode, but anyway. <clears throat> this. What is this? This is our garbage. Uh, our garbage. What is this cabal shit? Oh, it just adds there. Yeah, we need to stage that also. Uh, and this. Yeah, this is the example. Look at this, man. We didn't call that so much. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh <-huh. laughs> Damn. Yeah. It's almost like we care. <laughs> yeah. I certainly don't. Uh, and T arrow at. Uh, Types parsing. Well, not really. That's a lie of a commit, but yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I will. I was. Okay. Recording back. Recording. Okay. So what do we have? Right. Uh, okay. So. Add types parsing. Okay. Uh. Okay. Can you build okay. this? Okay, LSP <laughs> is not complaining. It's just complaining about the this? bunch of parentheses, but as always. Can you build this? Uh, Dude, if you can, I'll be astonished. I, I, think we, I think we can, by the way. Yeah, I think LSP is fine. Which reminds me... Okay, I don't have any... I, know, I told you, betweens, they're the best abstraction. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Uh, no, but wait, that's uh, another thing. Oh, because we did. Oh, we, we changed the yeah. ST. Can you comment the stuff on the evaluator? You can fix that later on the other session. Uh, okay, so no, the type checker is the one complaining first. Yeah, types are useless, man, I tell you. <laughs> See, they break our code. They break our code. Yeah, man. Okay, next. Could not mo could not load module evaluator. I am confused. What is wrong with this one? What license are we using? GNU? I have no idea. I hope it is. What the hell? What is what exactly is being done here? Uh Heck, man. Yeah, I'm very, very, very confused. Why not let evolve? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it's okay. Thanks, Agent. I appreciate. Uh, what? Yeah. It's. It, it, I'm not gonna explain it right now, but that was a very good use case for Agent. 
What is cannot mode load module evaluator? It's right here. What do you mean? Oh, it's because it's wrong. Okay. Okay, thanks. Again, pipes. <laughs> Break my code. <laughs> no, is it still wrong in a way that I don't know how? Yeah, it's still wrong. What the hell? Will not load module evaluator. I look at the other minor stuff. Ah. Arthur Litro. Okay, so. Field. Is uh, missing what? an export oh, okay, so list. That's fine. The evaluator broke, and then it can't. It can't okay, so the, the right typer thing. is a, oh, the typer is asking for something that we shouldn't. Okay, makes sense. Uh, no, wait, where? Compiler typer. So, people, people are making, are importing, oh, here, we, oh, okay, makes sense. Man, in a big project, that's, that must, like, be horrible. No, but because we changed it, yeah, variable is also doing the thing. It's because we changed it in the middle of the thing. Yeah, in a big project, you might do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's showing there, but like on the compiler, it's not right. What the? Okay. Parser.types could not load module. Okay, so something in here. Oh, everything's wrong. Okay. <laughs> Just Look at the, cool. Oh, is it the char? Oh, yes. It's a string. It's like simple quotes, I guess, right? Uh, oh, it is because of that. Okay. Control D, right? Uh, select the, the thing. Oh, but don't do that. That will select everything. Oh, no, there are no strings there. So, yeah. Just select the simple. Select it first. And then Control D? Yeah. Yeah, but you're selecting the thing inside. Yeah, there is no oh, other. I am already lazy. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we just yeah, change the like, two occurrences yeah. of string. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is also oh, string. string for all. Yeah. Okay. Okay, for some random reason, we also have a dot. Yes, a this is a char. And what is the arrow breaking on the first one? Okay, now we have proper errors, I guess. Couldn't For match type the... this with... Ooh, this, this one yeah, is I gotta have dinner, so I'll be back in a second. This should be this, I guess. Wow. Okay, so this is definitely wrong, because this should be parser t. So I think this means that our implementation is completely damn wrong. Okay, cool. What is the type of this? It's a list of types. Should that, should that be the case, Nathan? Wait, wait. Oh yeah, this is the argument. Oh. Oh, it's because we have curring in our version. Oh fuck. Uh, okay. What is the problem? The problem. The problem is the following, man. I know the problem. Okay, so if you go back to the ST, like here, you see that the the the, the, the t, t arrow receives a type and returns a type, right? Uh -huh. But we are parsing it wrong, right? Because we are admit we are our parsing uh, admits that you have multiple, like a list of the a list of parameters and a return type. This is do done in the curving way, right? So we, you need you only have one parameter, and if you have more parameters, you need to do the type arrow again, correct? Yeah. Then we do the same thing that we did for abstraction. Yeah, but this right? is what is wrong. You see this type right here. You see uh -huh. the end? It is a list of types. Okay. We need to f map this guy. 
Uh, we need to have map to I don't know. Oh, to curry. Okay. Okay, you want to fold it in, right? Yeah. So to curry. That's interesting. It picks a list of yeah. types but... and returns a single one. <laughs> to curry. So we can do it recursively or using a fold. I think we we want a fold, right? You do need the return p map. Wait, what? You do need the return p. But what what is return p? <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be like return type. Oh yeah. I think he did p because of uh, because of uh, the return parser. Oh, but yeah, we also need like the return type into the to curry, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's actually change this name to curried arrow. Curried arrow. It picks a bunch okay. of types. It picks the return type, which is also a type. Return T. Yeah, I think it is curry, man. Wait, what? Uh, j just saying that, yeah, that's right. Like, we are actually curving, right? Like, yeah, we are actually least. curving, yeah. So it's a fold R, right? I... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be the same thing that we discussed Wait. last time. Wait, let me see, let me see. No, it is, okay. needs to be, because we discussed this last time, man. No, no, I, I'm not talking about full R itself. I'm just talking about... Uh, what can I say? Wait, I think we have this function already done. Let me, let me go to... No, I, 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 will mute for, I will mute for a second to think about it, and then I will return. Okay, so let's do this in a um, dumb way first. Um. Uh, I think that is no problem, but just to be sure, I will type in a, in a notepad to visualize it, because it's so weird to think about it. <laughs> I, I would not trust to think about that without visualizing stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Um... No, 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 wait. I was thinking correctly. Okay, so I want to do the dumb version first, Nathan. You know what I mean? Uh, wait. Yeah, I guess you're right, Lemus. Yeah, it works. Uh, why it's it would not work? Right? Uh, <laughs> because, you see, I was thinking regarding, man, arrow and application, they have different uh, associativity. Yeah, associativity. So I was just wondering, mm, does that really work? Or... <laughs> see? In the case of the application, the syntax sugar for it, then it's the left side. Uh, we 
if you have more than one, we just wait. What are you? Wait, 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 what are you doing, man? It's just a fold. Yeah, but what are you doing? Uh, I do prefer doing the dumb version first to visualize the fold better. What is the dumb version? Like writing your own fold? No, using recursion. Oh, writing your own fold? No, I guess in functional programming it is like what you said, but well. Uh... I would recommend you to do the following. Uh, right there in a comment, a function that takes three ints as an as argument and returns another int. Wait, can you repeat that? Yeah, uh, right there, a notation, type a notation in Haskell, right? In the comments, a function that takes three ints and returns an int. Mm, okay. For visualization. Okay, so it's an int, and it returns an int, and then it returns an int. We want that, right? Yeah, yeah. So the last one is special, right, for us? Yes, the last one is special for us. So imagine we're doing that as the initial case, right? The, the last int. The last int is the initial case for the, for the fold, right? So then we go from the right to the left. Oh, wait. That already kind of means that we have uh, we need to treat the special case. Uh, well, we but we are one. treating that. No, 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 wait. We are treating that. Since we receive the list separate from the return type, that's already treating the special case. Then on the fold, the initial accumulator will be the return type. Wait. Let's write the fold. Let me guide you through. And if you don't understand for some reason, then we can we can do some explanation, right? Yeah. So okay, so the list itself, its types, right? Yeah. The oh, initial but now comes value. The function, I guess. Well, just What is the initial do, value? Is the return type. Oh, the function, it's literally just arrow type. Not sure if the order is correct, though. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What is the signature of fold again? Because uh, I don't know about the order of accumulator and current element. Uh, the accumulator is the second. The accumulator is... Yeah, on the function that we are receiving. Uh, uh, then it's right. <laughs> yeah, then it's right. It's literally, yeah. I love to be able to pass constructor as functions. Yeah, why this is wrong though? Yeah, why is that not work? Wait, yeah. did arrow change? Oh, okay. By the way, can you do flip on a T arrow? You can't, right? arrow yeah I can why not you can ah. no wait uh, it, it would be like this I guess like that? no what is it because if you if you can it means that it's really a function if not it just means that it's not a function but you can like apply it in a special way right <sighs> Couldn't match match type. Expect no, because that. there you are only doing one flip. That's a problem, right? Oh, okay. I'm doing only one flip. I need to do like flip two or something like that. Uh, no, I mean flip twice, right? Flip but twice. Uh, yeah. Why would we want that? Well, to keep the same type signature, right? Just use parentheses, man, instead of your... <laughs> Am I going crazy? Maybe. Well, anyway, we, we can test this later. This was already working. Okay. 
I guess we have some papers there. No, yeah, we need to fix those. Uh, okay, so what do we need? Um, type. Um, we don't need this anymore, right? Can I just Wait. curve it? Just a second. Oh yeah, done. Cool. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, it worked. What? Just changing the T arrow that was here to carried arrow. Uh, let me see if I understood this. Oh now. sure. Let me see if I understood this. So you grab the return case and then you apply T arrow to it. No, you apply the first one of this. I think okay, this is I'm wrong. Back. What is wrong? Because you're grabbing the first one of this list and and matching it with first one, the last one. The last one, sorry. Oh no, so it makes sense. Okay, it's correct. Okay, so we fixed one of your functions uh, with a little change in uh -huh. here, Magita. Oh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, next, uh, T for all. Uh, and I will Probably put the type image. structure for here. Uh, oh, why am I not fake function? It's the same bullshit. Uh, no, not at all, man. I'm sorry. Oh, man. This is literally cringe. Turn like, uh, there is a, an article on a news newspaper basically saying, like, offensive emojis. Emojis, like, Gen Z rejects from old people. And then it's like like uh, emoji like thumbs up like that should be forbidden because that's offensive. Who cares, man? I like emojis. Just let me use them. Ooh, this one is a little bit more complicated, actually. Best uh, thing is that I rent and then Lemus just ignores. No, it's because I was already thinking. You were talking about emojis and generations and stuff like that. I was thinking about the error here. Uh, yeah, I'm not as important as you. <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, Nata. Uh, can you correct me if I'm wrong? Uh, I want to know. D for all. Oh no, wait. A T4 info is composed out of a text and a type. This can be an integer. No, yeah, wait. Uh, 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 wait. It's because if you see the error right here. We are mixing two things that can be mixed, right? Then I'm I'm trying to understand what is. Wait, the isn't the problem the alternative because they both have to have the same type? Yeah, that's what I said. The type, the it's complaining that those are different. See? Wow, then you already know, right? <laughs> When's the no, least? No, I, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it though, because my question is, uh, okay, what is the return return error again? Does anybody remember? Oh yeah. No idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the, usually how that goes. <laughs> uh, let me see. Type for all. Type for all. All right, back. Maget, mm -hmm. do you remember what is, what is return arrow? It's the last thing of the arrow. Like we, the arrow. Can you go back to the example? The function S W. Here. Yes. So it's the integer there. Oh, but this can also be a T. Oh, okay. You are not converting that into a type variable. Man. You are just parsing. Many so that's stars. what I want to ask. So this would. Oh be a yeah. Type then you transform that in. A... What? Then you transform no, the no. T to a type variable. Ah, da, 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 da. No, no. Go back there. We are parsing type. What is? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's wrong. That's wrong. We should not be parsing type there. No, we, we should. Only... It should be a no, no. It should be a type. No. 
Wait, wait. Turn now. Oh, okay, sure. We are not parsing the for all t, right? We are parsing for all t dot, and then that's it, right? No, 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 no. We are the return. The return no, arrow the is return. this, Nathan. Is the integer here? Which can be t. Yes. Or... But this can yeah, also that's be that's a prop. Yeah, yeah, but that's a huge problem, you know why? Because this arrow is not a thing that needs to be described anywhere. It can be anything. It doesn't need to be an arrow. It could be for all t, t. Oh, yes, that's true. It's theory. absolutely true. It could be another random type. Yeah, that's right. No, but if that's the case, how are we going to inform our stuff? Hmm? Oh, cool. No, you just parse a type, right? No, no, no. Uh, my question is... Uh... From the like, context of the arrow, is this a type variable t? Uh, well, yes. For no, but here's the thing that we're we forgot, Lemos. We were thinking of this issue, of this problem. No, no, uh, no. I understood I that. It. I understood that. Let's suppose that it's this, right? Yeah. Is, what is this t? Oh, it's a type. It's a type variable. Type variable. Okay, so yeah, that's the, that's the answer. That's the answer I wanted. Okay, so, so yeah, wipe this code like the return arrow, the args, the arrow on the for all. That's all stupid, man. Oh man, I feel so stupid. We were just like doing monkey monkey code. Um, like you described the arrow as kind of string. Do you accept? And then you just put inside type variable. And the way we eliminate the other primitives is on type p. You do that after the primitives in the alternative list, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that function is totally wrong. Type Any variable. variable. Uh, Any variable. Uh, actually, not quite. It's the same thing Back. as a variable, man. It's the same thing as a variable, you say? Yeah. There's no distinction of that as a variable. Okay, so it's just uh, f map any variable. I think he, you in this case in particular you would need to. Uh, wait, oh, folks, folks, yeah, folks, 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 folks! Don't you have variables as like on lowercase ones? Then we want oh, uppercase yeah, ones, yeah, right? Exactly <laughs> <the problem. laughs> that sucks. It's gonna be the same aside from that part. Yes. <laughs> But it's not the kind of thing you would like to that to reuse, man. It, it doesn't. That's not the kind of thing you would want to reuse anyway. No, Ben, yeah, it is the same thing aside that. from the first letter. Yeah, yeah but it's so tiny, right? Yeah, but we can ignore the fact we need the... We can ignore that, man. Like, No, no, let's make the thing properly. No, oh, but dude, like for all, you don't you don't necessarily need to make it for all like T capital T. It could be lowercase T. What's the problem? Not huh? Imagine an emoji man for all emoji. <laughs> okay. How do you know? <laughs> for all okay. Okay. How do you know if you are doing a type application or an application? Both oh, values no, no, no. and types are lowercase. Well, then you should also forbid the case that you have variables with the uppercase. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> well, it is not a problem, it's just trash. I don't no, 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 it doesn't solve the problem at all. Like, man, you have values, variables, right, that are lowercase. If types can also be lowercase, you have no way to tell them apart unless you have yeah, some... What I'm saying, you either make it uppercase and then you enforce the other not to be uppercase. Yeah, the variables are already not uppercase, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How does it not solve the problem? <laughs> Wasn't you literally asking... What? Why no. does it need to be uppercase? No, I was saying, like, if we have, like, for example, yeah. we have the variables and the type variables. Okay. One thing, one option we have is to make the variables, the normal ones, to be always lowercase, and then the type variables to be always uppercase. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Hello, are you guys there? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a cool emoji here to make a far off. <laughs> I got out fine one. <laughs> oh man. Ah. Ah. Rob is one of us. Perfect. Look at that. Wait. Where? Oh shit. <laughs> Let me check this. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, oh, that'd be very cool. Uh, okay, so let's imagine. Let's imagine again <laughs> that Wait, I feel so stupid. That? Like, what were we doing on the on the <laughs> on the far all? Like, we were literally parsing for an arrow inside of far all. But I, I, I said it's so sad that we need to copy paste a lot of times. So that would, oh, that should be the Wait, wait. No, but that was wrong. Like, plainly wrong. <laughs> we didn't take into account that could be any other type. Like. Future var case. Like... Let me think. I want to make. Wait, what the fuck is that parser, man? This is uh, the same parser, any variable that I'm making it reusable. Wait, you receive VT? So you match that? Oh, that's a data type. And what is the idea that you're returning? No, right now it's just to, t to compile. We need to, to change oh, okay. the type variable case. Mm-hmm. It should Man, wait, wait, wait. What you are doing is something that takes the argument and it will either be a parser for a type variable or for a variable. Yeah. That's disgusting, man. No, that's well, okay. I, I like this solution. What yeah, the code about? is the same. Serious? The code is the same. Aside yeah. from this part of the composition that changes to ID to something else that I need to think now, it is the same stuff. Dude, I guess that's one case of bad abstraction in the sense that you are not reusing because they need to evolve the same but just because well the code happens to be the same yeah that that's how pragmatic systems work not the, I, I don't know if you're i don't think that's pragmatic what would be the, be the, be the better solution not the? you just do different stuff man different no copy parties. paste yeah. just adding one thing in here uh, oh, that's tough to sell, Nathan. I'm sorry. Man, cop and paste. The code that you are complaining, it's literally <laughs> line of the menu, right? I don't listen to Nathan. He's crazy on types. Don't think about that. Lemus. It's not about types at all. No, but I want to understand Nathan's motivation because he said that this okay. is the case of bad yeah, like, abstraction. Is it is the same aside from right? this. Because do you agree that you are making like a mending code in there? It would be better to segregate the abstractions into like multiple specialized things. Multiple Which I specialized kind of agree. Like in this case, it might sound dumb, but if you start to do this for everything, then it goes very easy. Yeah, but it's hand. two cases. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying just keep doing. Like this is in this case, it's stupid. I'm not saying you it will cure off program. I'm not saying it's the worst thing ever, but it is a bad abstraction in the sense of. You don't abstract something just because it's literally using the same code. Because some things, they like evolve completely separate. So, you see, like, I, I'm very bad at explaining that. But things should be abstracted when they will always need to be the same, right? They need to, like, quote unquote, evolve together. But I think the, I think the rule would be if I'm, you need to if you need to uh, make a new thing evolve something out of this, it's by restrictions. This is not a restriction. This is uh, no, and I don't think I agree with Nathan either. 
he said that things should be used in the same abstraction if they evolve in the same way. I, I don't think I agree with that. I think that if you have two abstractions that are completely evolving in a different way, but they have a uh, they have they are not parallel, they do have a, a, an encounter point. The encounter point is an abstraction. They diverge after. They completely don't have anything to to have to to be with each other. But during the cross of their evolution, they have a crossing point in which they con they they are the same. Oh, but then it's an external agent that is a, that is uh, common to them both. But you're, what you're doing is that they are both commons. Like, do you get the difference? That I mean, not quite. Because as far as I can tell. Nathan is saying that this is a bad use of an abstraction because the type variable in in, in the normal variable they they evolve in completely different paths, right? So they follow different routes uh, from. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe you didn't got it. What I meant by evolve, let me just try to clarify that. What I mean by evolve is literally the code evolving, like we making changes and maintaining that code. I'm not talking about workflow in the application as right now in the sense of one goes here the other goes there in another file talking about like maintenance right not not really maintenance i'm talking more about like these two concepts they are completely not related uh, at all right they are not related yeah. in any manner and i agree with that but as far as I can tell, the type variable in in the normal variable, they have a very, very, very similar path aside from one single distinction. So what I'm doing here, as far as I, I can tell, I am picking the, the, mo the most common part of it and I'm adding that f minor difference. Yeah, what you meant by there, you actually meant code, right? Wait, you mean the difference? Yeah, you said, oh, they pretty much have the same path. Yeah. What you meant by path was code? Yes. Yeah, that's not what I mean by path. What I mean is, is this thing binded to the other in the sense that if one needs to change in the future, they also needs? If the answer is no, then you don't really have a good reason to abstract then in the same thing binding this. Yeah, so that's what I... So we, you, you are creating using, a dependence that doesn't... Yeah, so exist. you are using the same sense of evolving as I was. Like, they are not in the same file, that doesn't mean that they evolve together, but it's exactly what you said. If one changes, the other has to change. The answer is no. And I don't think that the, because the answer is no, this is a bad use of abstraction. Because they do have a crossing point. They do have a point in their life, in their flow of their use cases, in which they are ninety nine percent the same. So I think we d disagree in what classifies a, a a good or a bad use of abstraction, because for me, um, I will not do that like this. Not because I I think that this is a bad use, but because I I just uh, got that this there is a second difference, right? They, they change the filtering and they change the error message. Now this is two differences between them in which uh, I think it's valid to, to make it separate. It's because I don't have a really good example of a case where this kind of causes a problem because, well, we would need a real code base and it's very specific. But I think that Magenta's example alone already would justify because I would not use that way, right? Is the thing of, oh, the way it evolves is you adding exceptions and exceptions and then the thing is a monster, right? No, but I'm not adding, a, a, I'm, it's not a bunch of exceptions, it was only one, right? No, that's yeah, why the case is about like... evolving, not about what is it right now, right? So we I write you, you were saying something? No, I'm just saying, like, it's not many, but it is one. But, yeah, the thing regarding maintenance no, is care. never... Well, I don't really care the way you write. I'm just, like, discussing that, right? I think it's useful. Uh, yeah, I agree. I'm just saying, like, in this case, I've, I'm okay with this because it is one exception. But if we start to do many, then I would say just roll back and do it properly. It's, a it's actually two differences, right? The filtering and the error message. So this is already enough for me. Uh... 
Yeah, but the thing is regarding when we are doing things regarding maintenance and it uh, maintainability, like it's not really we doing something for the state that is now, right? It's something for the next time that we mess with that, it will be easier to either not make an error or not having to make a change, or it's just easy to understand, right? And it's I don't want to use the term because I I don't agree with that, but it's but it's more on isolation. So you're moving something. You have you can have sort of the guarantee that if you modify one thing, uh, you're not touching on another thing that like is already working or something. You don't yeah, want to that's a good case regarding the same. That's the same reason why we use interfaces. Uh how I don't know how to describe that better. But it is what you just said regarding that's why we abstract things away so people cannot rely on it. Right? So in the future you need to change something regarding the variable, I would not want to also change the type variable, right? Um, I forgot what I was watching. Oh, okay, so <laughs> one good example, Lemos is regarding, you remember the tuple case, right? On the bank's code, on... On which code? Um, when we are at data risk and we had some... Dude, chop this part, like don't mention companies. No, 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 it's... It's fine. It's not a problem. Uh, well, when we are working at data risk, we had a case regarding, we have things that we are being, building as tuples, but then Lemus. How the heck you uh, remember this thing, man? I, I, I completely <laughs> don't remember at all. So it's so unmemorable. <laughs> that, that's, that's so. I don't know how to say that in English. But that's so memorable to me, man. Not at all, man. Not at all. Well, to me, right? So, uh, and it happens that we have the numerical sequence there, right? And Lemus suggested for us to use a. Like a generating code to generate the, the numerical oh, sequence, right? Oh, it's the right? zip example, I remember now. Yeah. So, yeah, just because you were right I there still this... disagree with that final conclusion, though, but I did it because everybody was saying, okay, we should not trust the, the client. And then I said, okay. Yeah, so basically, Magetta, we had some ideas. Just because they happen to be, like, uh, in order, Lemus wanted to do a code to generate that sequence doing the thing, right? So what is the problem with that? This relied on the order of... Yeah. The documentation of the client, right? On the order of the idea, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, it doesn't say that they will always be... So this is not something that Dude, was on the documentation. Kind of no. I don't know if I understood that. It's like this. We are, I suggested to do like this. Like, okay. we had a, a, a list of tuples. I remember mm -hmm. clearly now that Nathan said the, the thing. And then we had an ID and a string, right? Okay. And then, uh, uh, okay, so string. <laughs> Wait, just a quick pause because I do not remember this. When you have like uh, numbers as ID and you use the type of them as integers in the database instead of strings, for me, that's the same kind of case. Wait, what? Uh, do you know when you have an ID and yeah. it happens to be numeric? Yeah. But then you use integers instead of strings? Yes. That's the same kind of case for me. I'm the guy that would prefer to use strings instead of integers. Ah. Prefer to declare a Any, new type anyway, so we were discussing about doing better. this manner. I'm going to call this manner one. Right? Okay. And I propose to do manner two, in which would be. Let me give names to this stuff. I suggest you to do like this. But I prefer not to have an ID at all. Because every I think tuple you have this option. Because every tuple should be immutable. Wait, so that has nothing to do with ID. No, no, I'm just saying like database. Oh, okay, what you want is the thing not having an artificial ID, right? Yeah, I guess. That's a... just using natural stuff. Yeah, I suggested to do it like this. So, let me see, you wanted to zip 
the number, the sequence with the names, which I think are the second things, right? Okay. Yeah. So I propose to do like this because the documentation of the client was specifically saying, oh, these names, they have one, exactly the numerical order, one, two, three, four, and so on. Oh, they were not saying that. No, they did. They, they, I didn't say that they said. Oh, they, I, I see. So you, were... you just saw this pattern. I yeah, see. So, the, happen, okay. the pattern was there. So the numbers could be not in order. And then you want to generate the sequence and then zip. No, no, no. The, the, the numbers, the, the, the names were in perfect order. Uh, they were not saying, like the documentation was not saying something like, it will always be in order. It was a gigantic okay. table in yeah, which okay, I noticed that, okay, this name and this name and this name and all the 50 other names, they have mm -hmm. exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 250. And then I did this in the first way, and I and I and I think, oh man, yeah, if what happens if they delete? I don't know, forty nine. No, if they then delete, if for, if they, no, if they delete forty nine, and they don't change the others, then I see a point on doing manner one. But that's a breather of abstraction, then. But we didn't know that, right? Well, it was I... impossible to know at that point that oh, we're gonna change just the forty nine, and everything else is the same. We know it can. That's enough for us not to do this abstraction. No, but if it's... Uh, you're gonna have to change the, the, the man in both manners, man. Doesn't matter. Wait, we're gonna have to change both in this manner and in this both? manner. Like, if you don't account for that in any case, then you don't need to change the code. Man, the other thing is, you see the, the list names that you have there? The if I say to you to... Add a new one. Okay, the only thing that I, the, the, the most stronger argument that I, the, the strongest argument that I had in that discussion was that you are depending on the developer twice doing this manner. You are depending that, actually three times, you are depending that you are the, the number is correctly cu coupled to the name and the order is correct. In this way, you are only depending that the, that the order is correct. So I, this for me, because I caught myself air, like having a problem matching the number with the name. Because I was, doing, I was doing all of this by hand. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, okay. You, oh, okay, I see, I see. One case that you are saying you reliance is that, oh, this string is actually for this number, right? Yes. And that's oh, human okay. error right there. Yeah. But then you had the order, right? That's the order. In the manner one, it doesn't matter. No, but they are, no. D wait, the manner one doesn't matter. The order. The order. Of oh, the you mean of the tuples? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the case. Yes. But the order, it does. That's and another thing that I found it interesting during that case is that you need to follow what exactly is in the documentation to make this work. And I found that okay. But that again, I was only defending that in that in that day because oh, the it was it was tracking. specifically the 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 IDs were perfectly aligned. Magita, I'm surprised I, I that Nathan so, let me remember that. I'm very surprised. <laughs> it was very memorable, man. Very memorable. <laughs> I remember get that. My, I remember my weeks I stayed with Nathan making stuff for <laughs> like in reflection, those the were amazing weeks, man. Is there I mean, some things that I regret, Magita? <laughs> is regarding I should have fought you more on some abstractions that we did. Oh, I don't care for that thing. I don't care. But there we had a time to do stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, my that that was a good experiment, actually. I I think after that I could make it better. The next time I did it, so uh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it, I, it wasn't using reflection, that's for sure. So, for Lemus, from there, I think you can keep the abstract, but then you remove the arrow, the args, and the return arrow. Uh, you remove the arrow, yeah, the, it's args. the args, the return arrow, and then the for all, you remove the the arrow the arrow args and return yeah everything after the applicative the first one don't okay yeah okay so then it is now different because it is 
So what let me is think. the type of this? Nothing. Well, cool. What yeah, so this would be another parser. So that should be another parser that will pick the uh, the for all garbage that you're declaring, the abstract, and so it's an applicative after the spaces. That was right. With a type P, yes. Or another. Uh, actually, just type. Yes, that's true. Just type. We need. How many things do we need? Types? Just type P. No, 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 but D for all has a text and a type. Okay, so we have two things. I think we are done then. Types. And then we just remove that. Just that. Okay, so and now then let's complain we about cannot this. forget to introduce to the type P uh, the type variable as well. Don't yeah, forget to add type P. To yeah, type the type P. variable to type P, right? Oh, because okay, no, but we, it is undefined at this moment. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but now we need to discover what is this wrong. Couldn't match type unit with that. What do what? you mean? Oh, we changed the arrow. It's it's to the left. Oh. Change the left. Yeah. It's like this. Mm -hmm. This is still wrong though. What? <laughs> this is still wrong. What the heck? Could I match type text with this function? Wait, doesn't this for all need to Oh, this needs to be applicative. To applicative, applicative. For you need to make it a function, right? Oh, I need a function. Okay. That's correct. Yeah, no, but the function is already here. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why so you need to. This yeah. means. Let me check. If okay, it's for the intermediary applicative, right? Makes sense. So it's like just do the tuple magic. No, 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 no. This should be a text, oh. and this should be a type, and this should be the constructor for both, and this should construct on top of that. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, uh, the problem is about <laughs> evaluation <laughs> order, then. Well, not evaluation order, but about. Associativity, uh, because if you put there, it will work. And why is that? Because the way it works is you map the first one, and then it works on the applicative. Because no, the left one always here. No, no, no. What I mean is, if you copy and paste the definition mm -hmm. on the place, I guess it will work. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Still wrong. Oh, shit. Uh, change, dude, is the composition that way? Like, in Haskell? Yes, it is. Uh, Are you sure? The thing like yes. this... I am sure. That, yeah, no, the problem is definitely here. So it's saying that it is ex couldn't match try, like text. Try F mapping to a tuple. Try F mapping to a tuple. Go tuple thing, the function, the constructor, and then, yeah. Now this then is a type of two things. The, yeah, now that's right, it's text and type. And now what's he complaining? Imagine if this works, that would be awesome. Let me double check if this will not work. Okay, it will not, cool. Yeah, so see Lemos, what you are thinking about, like, this kind of algebraic talk, Tough, right? Way of thinking. So, okay, if I have those expression here and I copy and paste there, it will work. But that's the thing. When you try to evaluate the for all without the the mapping first, it doesn't type check, right? Because one needs to be a function in the context and the other the value in the context. I'm still so, not understanding that. I'm sorry. Um, Why okay, is so not working? What is the type of the applicative? Uh, applicative, uh, it is well. Appli uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna even try. Let's just do like this. Uh, like it's a function in the context, then a value in the context, yes. and then you apply it, right? So, yes. the so the left one was not a function in the context. Was just normal value in the context. It starts by there. That's why you cannot just use the applicative without using the mapping there, oh. unless the first value is a function, right? Okay, so what why I was oh yes makes sense why I was thinking it would work if you copy and paste there because then it has all the requirements but it didn't work when you yeah so I guess you had a problem with some other precedence right so 
It would work if you copy and paste, but you have. Order? Can you swap the order? I'm curious. Swap what? Uh, can you do the for all and then like for all info and then compose with for all instead? I just no, want to know what no, it you, does. No, you can't because for all is expecting two things and t for all is expecting one thing. The type checking would not work if you swap. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Okay, but with all of that done, we can go here and do... Uh, what is the order again? The order of these matters, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it matters. Nata? Yeah, yeah. The type variable needs to be the last. Okay, so type unit. Type well, not sure if the last, but after the literal ones. Okay, let's make type literal. Uh, rational. Then you can have a type variable, type arrow, and type for all. So in this case, it's going to be literal, arrow, uh, type for all, and last type I like variable. The project, but I think it's just reinforcing my dislike to Haskell. Why? I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. Wait, I don't... What, what is enforcing that? Is enforcing that? Uh, like, I don't know, man. It's it's hard to define. Like, I don't like the syntax. It's confusing. No, no, wait. You mean the project is enforcing your dislike for Haskell? No, yeah, like making oh. games, like doing this in, like seeing Lemus doing this in Haskell. It's just, I don't know, man. Like, I don't... Lemus, that even that either means that Haskell is inherently ugly or bad, or that your code is not so good. No, I disagree. Oh, like, I think that perfect. I think Magetta has a preconceit with in fixed notation. Yeah, it could be like it could be per preference. I'm not blaming on the language. I know it's uh, not trash, but I'm saying like I think bloat. I'm feeling that. I don't know if it's just my impression, but I feel like this is bloat. Not. What we are seeing, what you are seeing at the screen right now, it's not bloat at all. I agree that with Brandon in the case that Haskell has very uh, not robust library library stuff. So that's why we need yeah, to add a bunch of libraries. We are using and dude, like for what we are using, we are using how many libraries? No, but I already okay, like I already told like... you that we are not using all of them yet. Wow. So okay. for instance, this yeah, one we are not using the... yet. Yeah, never mind me. Yeah. It's just my impression. Like the text, for example, that's just a life improvement, right? It's yeah, that's really... to make it faster. Yeah. Uh, okay. We still don't know if that's a use case for make it faster. <laughs> no, no, we want to make it faster because we can it's easy. Yeah. It's easy. No, okay, we want to make it faster. Okay. We don't know yet if what we are doing is actually a good thing. That's what I mean. What, we what are doing... exactly? <laughs> what are we doing that potentially is not good? Oh man. Ah, uh, okay. So we have different types, right? So we have string, text, and others. Each of those has a use case. Well, we are using something. We don't know if we should, right? So we are applying a solution to a problem. We don't know if they are actually the solution for the given problem, right? So we don't know enough. Problem. No, I know enough to say that text is better than string. I can say that. In any case, you sure? Yeah. <laughs> really? The only advantage that I can <laughs> see the the string being a list of shards being better is that is if you actually are exploring that fact. Everything else is worse. So oh, I will have to trust you on this one. Uh. Anyway, so okay, so now we have. I think we are done typing part. Uh, typing types and all of this because we want to, to, to make the parser for uh, abstraction uh, oh Magita, the things I, I like and dislike uh, the things I like it's regarding the let's call it for the lack of a better name utility functions in Haskell in the sense that you already come with flip 
with const, oh, with yeah. all of those functions. Yeah. That's very cool. Like, I, mean, I love those. Sharp, in F Sharp, you have those already. Man, you what, don't. What I, here's the thing. What pisses me off the most in F Sharp? That it is wrapped atop of Windows garbage. Like, I hate that. And I understand it's Microsoft, blah, blah, blah. But man, like, there is no possibility for you to interrupt with, like, Unix if you don't launch a process. Okay, like, first stuff. Okay, I'm just complaining about, like, something that is, like, a given, right? Um, but, like, you don't have, for example, I think in Haskell you have Unix... Ocamo as well. You have the Unix module, right? Where you can yeah, but you would Unix have problem doing Windows stuff. Yeah, That's just it's... the opposite problem. Yeah. But then you yeah, need but... to decide what, yeah. is, what is better. Yeah, being that's worse at Windows or being worse at Unix? No, oh, I prefer Unix. <laughs> oh, uh, of course. Windows. <laughs> and, and if you need to deal with both anyway, then, well, .NET is already okay. You just don't yeah, access the low-level stuff. Yes, it is. It's just something that bothers me. That's the point. Um... Apart from that, another thing, I think, well, that's the runtime complaint. Oh, we're talking about Haskell, okay? Let's, let's go back to Haskell. Oh, yeah. So the thing is, I love those, especially things regarding tuples, because I was doing some old camel code, and I had to do a bunch of functions oh, dude, starting with tuples. One thing, uh, Lemos, is this tuple constructor, does it work with uh, any number of variables <laughs> on any number of things? That was me a few weeks ago, Lance. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but you need to specify like right? Like like if you just do the first one, that's just a constructor for two, right? Yes. Oh, it's reasonable, right? Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. So yeah, I was asking Lem was literally the same thing. Oh, uh, man, I like, yeah. Okay, I give up <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I was curious back in the day when I discovered this. I was, I was curious. Okay, what is it when the alphabet ends? <laughs> and then they okay, <laughs> and then they say we screw it. <laughs> 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 it. <laughs> Go on, Nathan. You were talking. Uh, but yeah, the thing I dislike is regarding the thing of oh, I have too many ways of doing one thing. Yeah, it's That's kind of the opposite I... of Go in this case. I don't feel like that. <laughs> I really don't, man. I, I, for example, do notation and then fix garbage. List I and monoids oh, just operations. List and monoids operations. Yeah, what they you already mean? overlap. So. No, yeah, but what doesn't overlap with monoids? No, no, yeah, okay. Then that's one case, a simple one. But the other thing is, okay, I have this other problem to solve. Depending on what it is, I can do it in a hundred different ways. No, yeah, that's what I said. It is kind of the opposite of Go in this case. So, yeah, I personally dislike that, but I don't think that's a problem in itself. Especially because, like, code bases and teams and the community, they always, like, tend to one side, right? Yeah. Oh, no, okay. man. I was thinking, like, so sad because I was we, thinking it's just a because second, Maget, Maget. just because we added the maybe for the return type of the abstraction, now you can't use this clever way of doing it. Oh, so sad. what do you mean? Because now we need to add yeah, the maybe, and I don't think we have curry in the curry function. Works I really. don't know what you mean. The parser should return maybe. <laughs> The parser should return me. You are not officially parsing. You are obligatory. You are like parsing. No, 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 no. In terms of I parsing, I know. In terms of parsing, I will. But in terms of this function here, that we have the tuple, and then we have an expression, it returns another expression. We were using curry to transform this tuple into another thing, and then using the constructor to grab all of it in one single move. I'm not exactly sure of what you are wanting. But can if you are only dealing... Can't no. you still do the thing inside that tuple and then you just like use the curry, the curry anyway? Just swap the order on the ST. That would be... Well, that may be bad, but you, you can keep the... <laughs> Everything well, to keep the depending curry. Depending on what it is, it can be really bad because we don't have names for things. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, okay, go go on. Uh, somebody was talking and I... Oh, Magito, go on. Magito. What about putting on the first one? That I think it's not bad. Like the return type, right? I don't know, man. What do you think yeah, about that? Bad. I'm not understanding the problem yet. Uh, the problem is that we are getting that tuple type type. And the thing is, we added... What is on this the type end. type? Can you show, Lemus? This? Yes. Yeah. Do this an is... example. No, no, no. The, yeah, we, have, uh, uh, we have the, the the name of the parameter, so if I remember correctly, the type yeah. of it, and the body, and then we added today the return type of the body that you are you you're gonna you can optionally add or not. Sure. And what's so yeah? I guess that would be good to be before abstraction and before expression, indeed. Um, that's okay. Okay, that's better. Before at uh, here, okay. Or the beginning before the text. No, but this is already okay. I can make this work. I mean, like you have parameter name, then parameter type, return type, and then body, right? Yeah. And then this is gonna be type P. You were talking something about Haskell, my Yeah, uh, I was saying like. I was questioning if it's not because I'm just like, oh, I'm just used to like F sharp or camel way. And I don't know, man, because I, when I was doing in SML, I didn't feel the same way. Like it was weird. There was weird stuff in there. Oh, but they are pretty much, no, not pretty much yeah, the okay. same. It but is they very are similar. I agree. Very much more similar than Haskell. But, like, it has much of the, the same stuff. For example, you don't have a... a well, you know, come you don't as well, right? I have a do notation, something like this. You have uh, to rely on, like, visit. Uh, you kind of do. You kind of do. You have something called let operator. It's basically do notation. No, it's pretty much uh, the computation that we have on FSHA. Okay. I don't know then. So, yeah, but uh, here's the. I mean, I don't know. I feel weird. I feel uncomfortable in Haskell for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, of yeah, course. Just, that's just... And it's not because, oh, you don't know. Yeah, it could be, but like, it didn't feel that way in SML. No, because I you're already it's biased practice. from the beginning. Well, because it's Harper's language or something like this, right? Yeah. It's I, biased. Guess. I must accept Harper's language. That's me. Uh, but hey, Lemus, did you solve the problem? I'm still not getting the problem. No, no, I, I, I solved it, but, well, I, I kind of, like, half, half solved it. Because <laughs> we have a name, then we have a type, and then we have an optional type, which is the return one. And then we're going we're gonna to have the body later, which is uh, done here. So Wait, now, is your problem regarding fun? Like... Yeah, my problem is regarding fun, yes, indeed. Okay, so uh, why do you take a tuple there? Just a, just a moment, man. Wait, we have many. Why do we have many in here? I'm confused. I don't think we, have, we should have many here. Many argon type. On the abstraction... Wait. Oh no, I remember, I remember saying that. We do. But then I said, we must later curry. No, yeah. That's and, why the folder is probably here. Talk, yeah, that was the whole talk on that. Yeah, but why the abstraction needs hey. to be... Oh, okay. Now, now I know. Now I know, Lemos. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, what do you mean? It must be many. It must be. Yeah. Oh, it's because the, our abstraction only picks one thing yeah, at a time. Uh, one, Lemos, we, we are true. Lemus, we are too fucking dumb, man. We are just... No, I just re I just realized that. It's fine. Uh, the ah. return needs to go here, I guess. Mm -hmm. Wait, you just realized we are all dumb? Yeah, that's not, not nothing new until that point, right? <laughs> uh, I don't understand what not is discovering. Wait, 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 just a second. I think I have something even after what you just said, what you just discovered. Uh, let me just think for a second. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the fold will not happen on 
on abstraction, parsing abstraction. Why? Why? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Can you explain? <laughs> you keep blocking me. What the yeah. So, we have types for the parameters, and we have a type for the body, right? For the return type. That doesn't mean we need to group them in an arrow. We don't. We shouldn't. What? I'm confused. Repeat okay. what you said. Wait, You're not wait. doing with an arrow, by the way. Yeah, this is not Yeah, that was the thing that I was thinking about when I told you, oh, let's do a fold. But I'm not sure if, if I was talking about abstraction. I think I was talking about some arrow. Else. You were talking about arrow back then. Yeah, so yeah, I have no idea why we are doing a fold. Because a I, I can explain this one. Because uh, our abstraction does not pick a list of a list of possible uh, arguments. It picks the first one, and the return type is another abstraction. If you have multiple ones. So let's let's say that you have a lambda, in which you have an A, a B, a C, and then you have a body, right? So the way that we do is to pick, oh, we have A, A has a type, which is fine, but what's going to be the body of, of this? It's going to be another abstraction that starts with B, not this B, I, I see, Z, I don't know. And then Z is yeah. going to be here, the type of Z. And then what's the bo body of the expression? Oh, it's going to be a lambda that grabs a C, which has a type. And um, and then the, the expression here finally will be the body, right? Finally. Wait, my, my brain's frying here. Can you repeat that? Yes, I can. But I don't know if you're going to have to, we're going to be able to annotate the type of the thing now. So I mean, I will explain again, but now I'm not searching about this maybe. So ignore this maybe for now. So let's imagine that we want to parse this lambda here, okay? Yeah. Which is an abstraction. B, B is the body, right? B is the body, yeah. The problem is regarding on the syntax, we want to research multiple, but on the ST, they are curved, right? Yeah. Okay, go on. Okay, so we, we were planning on doing the following, which ended up talking about a fold, which is, oh, what is this text? This is going to be A. The type is going to be the type of A. And then what is going to be the expression? Oh, it's going to be another abstraction in, that oh. starts with Z. I see. And then Z has a type, and then the expression is another, abstra another abstraction that picks a C. And then finally, after C is done, we need to do, we need to B will be the expression here, and it needs to be fold R and not fold L because we don't have control and, and when this list we're going to end. I see, I see. But now that we have this, maybe, I don't know if this is possible, by the way. Yeah, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. Uh... No, it kind of is because it's going to be the, 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 the folding will be adding nothing here all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like... Like, it's optional, right, the return type. So when you don't have it, then it will be just none, like, all the way. And when you have it, the last yeah, one... That kind of sucks, but okay. Well, <laughs> that's what he requires if you want to make a vision, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... And, and that's the thing. If we want to do it, required, then we cannot do it. Do you know why? Uh, yes. I think I know. So, why. yeah, because then we cannot do this transformation, right, on the syntax. Yeah. Because they would need one and would not have it. Yeah. Or would, yeah, they would not have it, I guess. Yeah. Or would they? Well, I mean, they would, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess they would. It would be literally just, oh, okay, since they have the return and the other, I will mount an arrow. Yeah. Okay, oh, anyway. Shit. Yeah, this this is but now you you got the point. Okay, so let's now go back to expression. Maget, are you there? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll just reply my friend the okay. second. Uh by the way, we need to do a comment well, man. That's on the why type that's why we have the many here. Okay, I see. It's because the AST and the syntax are completely different. 
Hey, man, uh, but let's do a comment on the type checking part first so we don't forget. Because now I think we should have a note there. So saying something like, oh, think about this specific case and make sure that it works as was before, right? I mean the typer. Yeah, Where? so go to the type checking part on the abstraction. Yeah. I am ignoring okay. this at the moment. Okay, so do a comment like, Oh, remember to considering that the syntax receives multiple parameters and then do a transformation. And, and do transformation to curry with notation. Okay, uh, what, what was it? Oh, actually, now I'm ignoring the wrong stuff. No, I was just explaining to Na to to Nathan why we need the fold is there. Okay. Okay. So now I remember why we need the many. Also. Oh, now I do. But then I think this is wrong then because uh, let me pick one example. Do we have examples here? Oh, we do. Okay, so let's copy this. This. Okay, so this is what we are we are envisioning. Okay, so the first thing is the open delimiter, which I guess is the bracket. Yeah. Then we have a lambda spaces. Then we start having um, variables. Okay, so this is also uh, char uh, spaces. Okay, so char this, then this spaces. So x is any variable. Then we have spaces to the type, and then the type can have a bunch of spaces also. And all of this should end with. Um, um, I guess char closing and a bunch of spaces. Yeah. Okay. Then this is all of this. Then we want many of them, which is fine. Open delimiter. Open the limiter. Why do we have open the limiter? Okay, so this is open is different than this open. Okay, makes sense. And we have mm -hmm. many of them, which makes sense. So this is a, a list of type and type. Okay, so this is wrong. Type and type? Why? Oh, man, the REPL on the on GitHub of anime girls holding programming books. <laughs> it's just. What? Uh, there is a repository on GitHub called anime girls holding programming languages books and it's literally like a bunch of like anime girls <laughs> holding like books for every programming language <laughs> <you can think of. laughs> <laughs> like look f sharp i love f sharp because it's kurisu from steins gate uh well i'm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna look at that at that later i guess <laughs> Uh, no, it's nothing, nothing that you would expect, I guess. Let's see, Haskell. Dude, what the heck? There's like a ton of Haskell. Okay, okay, so this is working now. Okay, so this is a text and a type. Okay, awesome. Now we make many of them. So we have a list of tuples of texts and types, which is the name and the type of it, which is cool. Then, after all of that, we need to parse... Uh, what do we need to parse? We need to parse the maybe and the, the body. Okay. So we need to parse the maybe, which is a type, which is cool. And we also need to parse... Uh, okay, I know, this is wrong. And then the body is a maybe type and expression, cool. We can then return type. 
cool. Why are you complaining? Oh, I know. Because this needs to be like that. Oh man, Nathan's GitHub is from here. <laughs> you didn't knew that? Busted. No, I didn't. <laughs> I guess that's Mars also. Mars? Oh, I, I know Mars. It's from the... Wait, I don't. Let me see here. Okay, now we just need to make the fold. Oh, dude, there's Idris here. Let's see. Which anime girl was holding Idris? Oh, Nagato Yuki. That's from the Suzumiya Hayuki, I think. That anime that is, like, funny. Because I, I just watch funny anime. Go. Let's see Go Lang. Nathan, can you help me with the fold? <laughs> uh, just a second. Uh, let, let me let me look. Let me stop uh... looking at lifeless. Okay, so what do you want to do, Lemus? We want... We want... Uh, let me think. So we want to fold the creating headers backwards, right? Yes. How the heck are we going to make this one? Because everything is nothing uh, until okay. the last so, one. Man. Uh, wow. <laughs> wait. Holy crap. Um, um, I'm kind okay. of tempted to just remove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, 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 no. We kinda, we, we yeah, That's this it. fold is very wild. Because everything, the maybe is yeah. nothing until we finish, right? We can do pattern matching, right? On the... On... Yeah, let's just, let's expand the function, man. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, so this is the return. This is the <laughs> body. I don't recall what those are. Okay, arg one and arg two. Yes. So I will open a file yeah, and try to think about it. Holy exactly. man, this fold is what? more complicated yeah, than the other one. It's actually a state and then the other thing, right? Wait, sorry, what? Uh, the arg1 is a state, is that it? The arg1 is a state. Check on the signature of folder. Uh, folder is the... This is the initial value. This is uh, the... A, B, and B is the state, yes. Yeah. Is the initial value, I guess. Uh, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. Go back to the EST, please. Oh, we are so fucking down. Oh, wait. <laughs> Every single time the first sentence is, yeah. we are so fucking Stop. down. Stop <laughs> we are not, we are not. Go back. <laughs> we are oh, not, we are not. We are not. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean we're not, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, not for this thing that we're thinking about, at least. <laughs> yeah, you, there's no way for you to know that this is the last one. Yeah, there's no uh, way. There is, actually, like... Oh, man. Yes, there is no... Oh, technically, there is always one, but not with the oh, folds, dude, right? we're stupid. Okay, dude. Uh, it is only on the first one, right? That we add because remember we're doing this backwards. No, it is oh. only on the first one. You're correct. Yeah, but here's the thing: it's not text, right? It's type. Uh, no, it is text. Why is it text, man? It's the accumulator of the folder. Uh, wait, I'm 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 already tired. Wait, let me think. Like it it is the accumulator of the fold that is grabbing the types and constructing the the sequences. The Just arrows. This is the return. What is text and type? Text and type is. Text is the argument, and type is the value for the argument. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. This I know how to solve this one, but it's gonna be terrible because uh, we like uh, last uh, last one is gonna be the head. Of reversing arcs. Yes. 
uh, and then we have like less text and less type and mm -hmm. those are the ones that go here yes okay and that could be the base case already this is the base yeah this will be the initial state right and then fun peaks. it could be the same thing but we need to yeah, extract the head, head now. We man. need to extract the... Is it text? Man. I'm kind of dubious now. Like... Okay, we are removing the, the tail. Like the last one. Oh, yeah, which we used text. here. Yeah, never mind. I was thinking of another thing. That's and then right. fun picks. Forget about this. It picks oh, an expression. Yes. Which is first. Okay. Yeah. Then... Um, it creates another e abstraction. Yes. Uh, arg one, arg two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The type. Uh, you can move it. This was for the Nothing. And then. Well, we could we could do it, right? Has body. Done well. <laughs> yeah. But. Why are you complaining? Not in scope. Oh no! No no! That's wrong, isn't it? No, I think it's correct. Body. Because the body, the body also just goes on the last one. The oh no, body. but that, the body there is the the previous. Yeah, you need iteration. to remember that this is foldar also. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so init is not here. Yeah, so let me just check. Your approach is getting the last one that it will always be safe because the list is always at least one. Then go into the fold, right? Yeah. And the fold will pick the initial value. That is a maybe type, right? And we don't really need to match that. And we will mount an abstraction. That abstraction has the return, has this return type. Yeah. As the expression has the body. The text and the type is the element that we fetch it as the last one and then we send this on the fold the abstraction being the initial value right yeah and then for every iteration we just put this abstraction that we created before uh, before the fold as the expression so the accumulator the maybe type will just be none and the text and the type will just be the the things on the list right doing the fold right yes yeah that works <laughs> I, I, I find it amazing how he got convinced. Like, oh yeah, no one. I was doing by myself. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, that, that was a battle station. Okay. Uh, does this work at all? Let's see. And then it compiles. Everything works. Okay, it doesn't. Uh, all right, the body on the closure. The evaluator is wrong. Line thirty-three. Yeah, because we change what uh, abstraction, is, right? Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Yeah, we commented the thing. Oh man, yes, that sucks. Wait. Yeah, just remove the the one in the left. Like the, the one on the right. Yes. And then I don't yeah, think so. One more. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh there's another place you need. Okay, it to... worked. No, you don't. Okay. Ah man, those warnings. Can we remove those warnings? Yeah. Then he passed a flag, no warnings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Uh... Oh, oh now the constructions of abstractions in the test are wrong. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, we can, shit. We can, we can do that. <laughs> Let me fix that real quick. Let's go there. Uh, oh, with text to the situation, we can. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Emacs, can you gonna, gonna show me the errors or uh, not? Do the Oh, I don't. I don't think it's wise because think above is the, each one of them has this specific. Yeah, I don't think so, man. It's okay, gonna so we're gonna easy. have to do by hand. That's you no, no, no. It's easy to solve with text substitution. 
Well, yeah, why? You can well assume that they are all in one line, but they shouldn't. But they are. Oh, but the point is the the expression in the middle of the thing, the type. It can be like any number of things, and then when he like does the the thing, it might be screwing up. Okay, uh, before the 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 expression body, we have the maybe, right? Uh, just do nothing. No, yeah, that's what I'm, why I'm asking. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, you can do the the thing. Abstraction. Yeah, you can. Uh, let's and then do that one. Nothing. Let's use Emacs Power. No, no, no. I I am too tired to do, uh, to Emacs Power at this point. Dude, that was just like meta a meta a to go to the end of the S expression, and then you just go one left. Okay, and I think the, I'm done. The body is. Yeah. Okay. We would lose more time actually doing. The body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. It's still wrong. Too wrong now. Uh, expression to expression. Okay, so maybe I count the parentheses wrong on this one. So is this the? This is the type of fun. Yeah, that makes sense. Then we have uh, this thing. Which oh, this is another. It's an abstraction inside an abstraction. That's why it's wrong. Okay. Oh yeah, there are two no things. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I'm confused. I'm confused. Uh, there is a e abstraction type. Wait, this is the body. So <laughs> go before. Yes, go in the beginning of this e abstraction. Go in the beginning. Nothing. This... Okay, nothing here. No, no. Go in the beginning. Go in the beginning. No, no. T variable. Do you see the T variable B? Oh, yes. Here. After that. No, no. After that. Oh, isn't this the body? No, no, this is the arrow. After that. No. Yes, there. Aha! <laughs> okay, we didn't even try parsing, though. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. And uh, we're not going to do this today. It's already 2 hours and 40. Uh, finish the recording now. Stop.